Today I'm going to set a YouTube record and try and go 5,280 feet without dropping this ball. Let's go. But before we start, if you guys like the merch, I just created a store. That link will be down in the description below if you want to check it out. Okay, so we're just going to go try and go a half a mile that way and come a half a mile back. And hopefully we will do it in one go. All right, here we go. Like, I wonder if I like ran with it. Oh, no, that's kind of hard. Yeah. I think going at a walking pace will probably be the best thing. I was just practicing a little stop there. Ball never hit the ground It's all about like getting into a rhythm. I just can't overthink it, I just gotta do it. If you guys like the ball I'm using, it's down in the link in the description below if you want to check it out. It's a cheap little Amazon ball I got, but it's super nice. It's like 20 bucks. <sighs> I just really hope the battery does not die on this GoPro. That'd be such a bummer. All right, so we were at 0.1 miles, okay. Kept the ball in the air for three minutes. Feels like it's been 10. So at this pace, we'll be done in a half an hour. Just gotta make sure I don't rush myself. I get like super nervous every time I do that. Yeah, we'll keep going. I'm just trying to think like where, where's the best place to get the least amount of distractions because there's some houses coming up. And there's a lot of people that like to run this road. Not many cars, but a lot of runners. And I don't want to get in their way or like 
get distracted, I guess. I wouldn't mind having a conversation, but just gotta make sure I complete the mission. We're getting a good pace going though. Time, oh. five minutes. Distance, 0 0.16 miles. Okay. Average pace, 30 minutes, 44 seconds per mile. Yikes. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but it says we're going at about a 34, um, I guess, minute mile pace. You know, we're just gonna turn around. We're switching the half a mile out strategy. We're just gonna go up and back. Cause this is the place with the least amount of houses that I'm by. So less likely for people to probably ask questions, not that they would, but it does seem weird that a guy's just juggling the ball up and down the side of the road. All right, we're good. Thought somebody was in front of us. We're moving right along though. Like the joint of my ankle, like in between my my leg and my foot, like right on the top, it's really starting to hurt from kicking the ball like this. So I'm gonna try and switch to, yeah, that feels a little more natural, but it just doesn't feel, oh, as controlled. So we'll have to switch back to this way. I'm gonna try taking longer strides in between each kick. See if that picks up our speed at all. Ooh, that was close. Jeez, my heart just dropped there. Gosh, got to get locked back in that rhythm. What would be really funny is, is if somebody made like a reaction to this video and counted every single juggle that I've done. So I'm guessing it's gonna be like, like a few thousand, maybe a couple thousand by the time I get done. Like, the most I've ever done though, is like just a little over a thousand because anything after that, it just starts to get boring. So I don't really do much more than that. And I haven't done that in probably a couple years. Ooh, staring at the ball for so long, starting to trip me out. Oh, hopefully the GoPro's hanging in there, battery-wise. Oh, I hear a car coming. Staying locked in here. 
I've never wanted anything more in my entire life. I'm just kidding. But I do want this really bad. One mile. 5,280 feet. 1,609 meters for the metric users Time, out there. 10 minutes. Distance, 0 0.31 miles. Ooh. Average pace, 31 minutes, 36 seconds per mile. Okay, we picked up our pace by three minutes and we're already over a quarter of a mile. No, not another car. Ugh. My hands are starting to freeze. It is winter where I live. It's probably like mid thirties, I would say. So it's not cold, but just, whew being out here for as long as I have been. It's starting to get cold on my hands. Oh, we're back at my car. Okay. Maybe I'll just go past my car. We'll go this way this time. Make it interesting. Little change of scenery, I guess. I don't really want to risk catching the ball on my leg because I feel like once I'll do, I'll kind of break my rhythm. And I do not want to do that. I bet I'm going to be sore tomorrow just on my feet. Okay. My eyes are starting to get watery too. I'm trying to make a bunch of, bunch of excuses, but that's all they are. Just excuses. We're going to keep moving on. The ball on, or the design on this ball is kind of trippy though. Oh my gosh, I dropped it. No way. Activity paused. Oh. No. Oh my goodness. I heard the cyclist coming up behind me and I got a little scared. Ugh. So unfortunately I did not complete the challenge. I lost focus for one touch and I just dumped the ball off the side of the road into the mud down there. So that was a big bummer. But we did make it 0.4 miles. And we had the ball in the air for 12 minutes and 35 seconds. So yeah, that's decent, but we were going for a mile and we didn't even get half of that. But now we have a goal for next time. And next time I do try, I won't let you guys down. I will get it. But I really appreciate you guys hanging in there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.